Hey Photography Mafia, in this video tutorial, you're going to learn how to remove transparent watermarks using Photoshop. So you can see these watermarks are here and they are transparent, meaning you can see a little bit through to back of the image. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl or Command J here. And then I'm going to go to the selection brush tool right here. I'm going to select this and then I'm going to start painting over this over the watermarks, at least the ones that I can see. Some of them are hidden or a little bit hard to see. There is probably an easier way to do this with copying and pasting the selection, but not all these watermarks are of equally spaced values because I checked it before. So I'm just going to paint or brush over these. <laughs> Previously, you can remove these watermarks if it was at 100% opacity or if it was opaque. And you can just use like luminosity masking and content aware fill with some a little bit of feathering and masking. And you can do it that way. But when it's a transparent watermark, it is a little bit more difficult. But as you can probably notice, Photoshop has a new tool or new AI tools just like many other photography applications which is generative fill and it looks like I should have got everything if I didn't it's not a big deal because this is just a demonstration to show you how to remove a transparent watermark so I clicked on generative fill and now I'm just going to click on generate I'm going to leave the prompt empty and it will take a few seconds to process here and while it's processing you can see there's going to be three different variations that are going to come up using the generative AI and voila. So the tool or the generative AI, I was able to remove the watermarks. But the thing we have to look at is, does the watermark or the removal of the watermarks look good? So you can see there's a little bit of distortion or it's messed up here, maybe here as well. And it's a little bit soft here. So we can choose another variation here or here. I think this looks good. Yeah, I think the second one looks good. Let's see the original image and this image, the original image and this image. So we were able to remove the watermarks without any problem. The one thing you may want to do is like duplicate the selection or something along those lines and just add a little bit of sharpness to the image just to make sure generative AI did a good job. You can either add sharpness or you may have to do a little bit of Gaussian blur depending on if there's any bokeh in the background. And if you guys enjoyed this video, you know what to do. And as always, live easy, sleep breezy, and stay lovely.